What's up, my fuckers? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, motherfuckers. The one, the only, Bird Martinez. So, thank you for fucking watching my shit. Thank you for fucking with little old me. So today, we're gonna make enchiladas ver verdes, or like white people say, enchiladas birdies. We're gonna use tomatillos. I love me some tomatillos because they taste a little bit like lemon. So, we're gonna use tomatillos. I decided to buy some rotisserie chicken from Costco since, you know, it's faster than boiling the chicken and doing all that. Plus, I love this chicken, it has a bunch of flavor, especially when you make it in enchiladas, um, chicken tacos, it's the best because you, it's quick, you know? And also we're gonna use some chiles serranos. We're gonna need some crema, some, of these motherfuckers right here, queso fresco, queso fresco beach, and of course tortillas. Beach tortillas are expensive right now. I just bought a package of a hundred tortillas. It was like four dollars and fifty nine cents each. No mames, that's a lot. Considering my beaner ass eats them every motherfucking day, that's expensive. Okay, so let's get this pop. Okay, motherfuckers. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna peel these motherfuckers right here. Easy, peasy. All you do is peel them bitches and then wash them bitches. And then you put them in some water like so. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them on high. And you're just gonna let them boil one time and then turn them bitches off because you don't want them to be soggy. Your chicken, I got Mandy doing it for me right now. Looking all cute. <laughs> Who you said you wanna be uh, you're you're inspired by right now? Your look? Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> it's a weird. You're birdie, right? Yeah, in the movie. Okay, so you guys know how to shred chicken, right? Even my 13-year-old can do it. A ver. You are going to just go like this. You know, not too big, not too small. And this one is kind of cold already because we got it yesterday. But I'm going to heat it up. So that's how you do it. See? And I'm going to make two of them. So when you're shredding the pollo, make sure you don't scratch your ass, Mandy. I didn't do that. I saw her. She was like about to scratch her ass. And then I was, <laughs> Mandy, no scratching booty. <laughs> no, I can't show Oh. 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 Boiled, they'll get boiled with the own, con lo caliente, wait, you know what I mean? Okay, so now we're gonna make the salsa verde that we use for the enchiladas. I already put the cilantro up in that bitch. We're gonna put some onion, some garlic, and we're gonna put the tomatillos. They're hot. And then we're gonna put the chiles. Don't add water, you don't need water. The tomatillos already have water inside of them. Then you're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna blend this motherfucker. Blend it. Blend it. Yes. Now that we have our salsa ready and we have our chicken shredded, I'm gonna cook some. I'm gonna cook the salsa. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, like so, and a piece of onion until it gets really, really, really hot. When it gets hot, we're gonna add the salsa. I think I need my top for this. I don't have it, so I'm just gonna use this one to cover it. Always have like a fucking shield for this motherfucker. Cause you don't know, it could get cray cray. Ooh. But it's worth it. And we can get to smell how good it smells in here. And it's gonna, you got to cook it for like three minutes. So you could get that sazon. And you could taste salt needs a little bit more now that that's done we're gonna cook our tortillas fry our tortillas i don't know 
but I put my tortillas in the microwave, microwave for like a minute so they could be like ready. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the comal. And I'm just gonna fry them a little bit. Not too much. I don't want them to be hard. I want them to be like a little, I don't know how to explain it. Doraditas, pero no tanto. So this is what you want them to look like. And then you can put them to the side to drain a little bit. If you wanna be healthier, you could just put them in the microwave, put them in the comal. You don't have to do this step. So it's up to you, motherfuckers. It's up to you. So now that we have everything ready, we're gonna do this, motherfuckers. I'm so excited. This is my favorite part when you get everything together and shit and you're almost done, you know? So this is my little bowl. Or my, not a bowl, what the fuck is it called? My little thingy, my jiggy. To go in, chill out. So we're gonna get the tortilla and we're gonna dip it in here. Get it nice and soaked. And we're gonna put it on the side. And we're gonna put some pollo in the middle. And then we're gonna wrap. And then we're gonna wrap it up. And how I wrap it, I fold one side first, get it nice and tight right here, and then boop. There you go. Let me show you another one. Dip it. Put it right here. Put the pollo in the middle. I don't know. If you, I don't like to stuff them so too much because then they're like too big. I'm gonna do it like this and. Boom, motherfuckers, look. With the quickness. We're gonna put chili on the top too so it could be extra fucking soaked in delicious chile verde sauce. You wanna say hi? hi. Say hi. Hi. You love me? Let me kiss. No, you. Oh, pinche Mario cabron. Okay, I'm done with the first layer. So when that's done, just get more salsa and put it on top, you know? So they could be drowned in fucking salsa. I'm telling you, the salsa is bomb. Got a piece of onion. The salsa is so bomb with tomatillo and the fucking um, chile serranos. Woo! Way better than the lata shit. But if you want to do it with the lata, it's cool too, you know what I mean? It's your life. Okay, I'm gonna put the enchiladas. I wait, think about what enchiladas in the Mexican. We always use the oven as a storage thing and store all the bunch of stuff in here. So I have to take this out. I'm gonna add some cheese up in this bitch. Yeah. Don't be scared to use cheese. Just do the damn thing. You don't have to use cheese either. If you don't like it, then just add the salsa. Cook however the fuck you wanna cook. There's not a perfect way to cook. As long as you fucking put your heart into it, put your back into it, you good. Now I'm gonna cut some motherfucking cilantro up in this bitch. And some onion. So we can sprinkle this bitch on top of the enchiladas. I have to go chase down the cucaracha. Couldn't find any. They're always passing through my street fucking 10 times a day. And when I need them hoes, they are not around. So I have to go to my cousin Karina's house to ask for cilantro <laughs> and half an onion. Thank you, Karina. Shout out, Karina. Love you. Also, we're going to get some onion. And we're going to cut this bitch up in little squares. Doesn't matter if the onion touches the cilantro, unless you're like picky as fuck. There's some people that they like cringe when two foods touch. Like Mandy, she loses her shit when her rice touches her beans. I'm like, really? It's not that deep, bro. So everything is nice and cut up. We got our cheese, our queso fresco, and we got our crema. Today they didn't get the other crema. Wait, there you go. The other crema because it was expensive, so you know. I know I don't have herpes. I know I got a comment saying my fucking pimple, it was herpes. Bitch, I'm a married ass woman with a loyal ass man. I know people think, say, oh, all men, all men cheat, but I doubt Mario's ever like kissing some hoe. Cause I always scare him. I'm like, man, if you cheat on me, your dick is gonna fall off. And if it doesn't fall off, I'm gonna cut that shit off. So this is how they look. 
now i'm gonna just dress these bitches up oh my god yes so this is how they look we're just gonna add the cilantro sorry my phone was about to die cilantro onion some cheese i need my other finger for it and let's just take a moment i clean my little how do you spice drawer look at that shit looking all sexy and shit but anyways let's get to it so my enchiladas are ready i don't i don't like the sour cream it's like i don't think it has salt anyways i don't like it so let's taste this bitch let's taste this motherfucker mm-hmm i know it's gonna be fire 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 Mira, güey, ni la puedo agarrar. Mm. It's hot. But it's bomb, bitch. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. This is what the fuck I am talking about, bitch. Bomb. I recommend this, bitch. I think you guys should do it with the rotisserie chicken. It just gives it so much more flavor. Oh, let me tell you guys something. The other day, I went to Smart and Final. There was like a package of water bottles, right? And I was like, oh my God, 64 water bottles for $7? What a deal. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm like all happy coming with my water bottle. Helping them shits. It's 68 little ones. And Mario was making so much fun of me. He's like, how can you think? That many water bottles could fit in that little space. I was like, I don't know. Don't make fun of me. I make mistakes. But anyways, I hope you guys like this um, recipe. Try it out. You know, somebody told me to make it for them. I forgot your name. But you know who you is. There you go. I made it for you. And um, tell my bird gang 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 motherfuckers. I love you guys. Peace.